Hello everyone, David here from Hacking Modern Life. Today we're going to dive into a fascinating topic. We'll talk about text prompting and its role in artificial intelligence and why it's a temporary solution. Much like skeuomorphism was an early digital design. Prompt engineers, the ones that we hear about so much, well, that's not happening. Well, hear me out. First, let's level. Let's get some definitions straight. Text prompting is how we currently communicate with AI. We input a comment or a question and the AI generates a response. Skeuomorphism, on the other hand, is a design concept where items are made to resemble the real world counterparts. Remember the old recycle bin or the floppy disk save icon? Or maybe like why is the main screen of our computer is called the desktop? Well, that's skeuomorphism. Skeuomorphism played an essential role in the early days of the digital revolution. It helped people transition from the physical world to the digital one by providing a sense of familiarity. But as people became more comfortable with digital interfaces, this design concept was gradually replaced by more minimalistic, abstract designs, and there's a whole trend known as flat design. Before we dive into the future, let's take a step back and remember the past. Consider the previous generation of chatbots and how they didn't quite live up to the expectations. You remember Microsoft's Clippy, the little assistant? Or perhaps some of the early customer service chatbots? <laughs> or let's go even farther, remember Microsoft's Bob interface? This home on your desktop? Well, similarly, text prompting is a bridge for us to communicate with AIs. It's an intermediate step designed to help us become comfortable with the technology. We ask a question or give a command and the AI responds. Simple, right? But this method is starting to show its limitations. It's not the most efficient or intuitive way to communicate. Just think about how many times you've had to rephrase a question because the AI didn't understand what you were asking or you had no idea how to even describe your idea with text. So what's next? What comes after text prompting? There's a growing interest in more natural fluid methods of communicating with AI. With text prompting, we're essentially limited to what we can express with words. Think about voice interfaces or gesture recognition. But similar to the way we moved away from everyday objects in our UIs to more streamlined and optimized interfaces, we'll eventually transition from text prompting to more specialized UIs as well. Or maybe even direct brain to computer interfaces. But we still have a long way to get there. But imagine having a conversation with AI just like you would with a human, or even communicating non-verbally. I mean, what is easier, to try to describe an image or to draw a rough sketch and ask the AI to turn it into a photo? Or describe a whole song? or play three notes on your keyboard and ask the AI to generate a symphony out of it. Or maybe, you know, play a musical instrument and then have the AI replay it in the style of your favorite world-class musician. And those prompt engineers we keep hearing about? Well, that's not happening. There won't be prompt engineers. There will be designers, developers, architects, and artists who just happen to know how to communicate effectively with the relevant AIs just like people know how to use Photoshop efficiently or Cubase or AutoCAD. This transition is happening already, but it won't happen overnight. Just like with the shift from skeuomorphism to flat design, we need time to adapt to, to these new ways of interacting. We have sketches turning into images. We have ideas writing code for us. We have AIs playing musical instruments. You know, just last week, Adobe released the image generator integrated into Photoshop. If you remember back in the 90s, uh, at first, we needed to go to the library to get information. Then we had directories listing what we're looking for or kind of trying to map it, such as Yahoo or Demos. Then Google came and actually with the help of AI helped us find whatever we're looking for. And today we're at a point where all this information is actually being pushed on us. The systems and the algorithms know to a certain extent what we're looking for and send us that information by themselves. Those early directories is where we are now with text prompting. And remember, technology waits for no one. In a few years, text prompting might seem as quaint and outdated as a 3D leather textured button on your smartphone. I say, let's embrace the change and the fascinating opportunities it brings. Let's start right now to think what is the interface of the future? How we'll talk with the next generation of smart uh, machines and algorithms instead of trying to bend them to our limited text communication. And before we wrap up, I want to hear from you. What do you think of text prompting as an intermediate step in AI communication? 
Are you excited about the potential of more natural and immersive interaction with AI? Let's get a conversation going in the comments below. That's it for today, Fox. As always, let's keep hacking modern life and remember to keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible. I'd love to hear what you think about this. I'm David, and if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss our next exploration into the future. And until next time, see ya.